Welcome back to ESBR Boxing. Delighted as always to be joined by Danny. It's Sunday. We have seen Rob Ciumira has become world champion in only his 13th fight, defeating Isaac Dogbo via unanimous decision over in Tulsa. Danny, thank you for joining me. Um, I feel like one hell of an achievement to, to become world champion in 13 fights, especially when you've kind of lost one on the way, but just kind of your reaction to, to Rob Ciumira's, um, yeah, becoming becoming world champion. Yeah, as you said there, remarkable achievement. You know, I think sometimes when you get like a top amateur coming into the pros, it's almost expected that they'll be fast-tracked to a world title and it, it's almost taken as a given, but so often it's not the case. And, you know, particularly when you factor in he lost his professional debut, the bounce back, the way he's done, you know, adjusted the professional game, rebuild and to beat a former world champion and Isaac Dogbo, a legitimate world level featherweight. No, it's some going for just 13 yeah. fights, definitely. Yeah, absolutely. He's kind of like beating um beating Abraham Nova on the way as well, who was undefeated at the time, stopped him in inside five rounds. And now Dogbo, who's a, like you said he's a he's a good fighter. Um look Dogbo's only kind of lost to Navaretti and Miris has gone there and kind of beaten him wide on on all three scorecards and, and knocked him down on the way. Um, so it's, yeah, it's very impressive. And it's, yeah, looking forward to seeing what, what Ramirez can can, can do next. Um, we're just going to touch on this video on, yeah, on that, on that, in fact, what what, what is going to happen next. Um, all the other world champions um, in the division are Mexican, which kind of makes for some potentially exciting fights. Um, Mauricio Lara, who we now know is going to fight Lee Wood again in, in May, Luis Alberto Lopez, who we know beat Josh Warrington back in back in December. And of course, Ray Vargas, who's kind of a top, yeah, just a top fighter in the in 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 the in the division as well. Um out of those, like the other champions, Danny, is there one that kind of speaks out to you as the one you would really you would really want to see? They're all really good fights. Definitely all very different stylistic fights. Um I think you've got to look at the Lopez Condon winner as the most likely just because of the top rank connection. Um that's a close fight. I think either of them or were they were the opponents for him. Um man, I, I I didn't even dawn on me till you said like the rest of the, the champions all being Mexican, but like having such different styles. I think the Vargas fight's probably the least likely just because of how PBC like to keep things very much in house and You've seen a bit of a willingness for top rank to work with the zone, which would make you know the Lara fights like a serious clash of styles as well. Um, this really well schooled polished amateur up against Lara, who's you know just a street fighter basically. Um, so now the, they're all actually really good fights. If I had to pick one, it probably would be the Lara fight. Um, just because I think he's one of the most entertaining fighters in boxing. Um, but I think the winner of uh, Lopez Conlon is probably the most likely. Yeah, and I think Lopez Conlon happening on May twenty seventh in Belfast. Um, I think Ramirez obviously, is, you know, he's just had a had a twelve round fight, so I don't think he would have an issue in waiting for the winner of that of that contest. Um, but yeah, what way? Who do you think would be the who do you think is going to win between Lopez and Conlon, and who do you think would then be the the favorite going into the fight against Ramirez? Uh, national bias aside, I actually think Conlon will beat him. I think he's got a good style for Lopez. Um, Lopez obviously very unorthodox. I think Conlon's pure boxing might be a good remedy for it. So, working on the assumption, um, if Conlon wins, I would I would make Ramirez a favorite though. I think I'd make him a favorite in any fight in the division at, at the minute. To be honest, I know he he maybe doesn't have the the best resume. Um, but I think from the eye test the extensive amateur schooling we've touched on, I would make him a favourite against Condon or potentially anyone else in the division, to be honest. I think he's, for my money, the best featherweight in the world at the moment. Interesting. And I think, like, big statement, I think without doing a te- like a, a technical breakdown here, what is it about What is it about him, if if that makes sense? Obviously, kind of, we, we've seen he can punch a bit in other fights as well. He can go the distance. But what is it about him that makes him special as a fighter would you say i think it's just like you touched on who he seems to have added a bit of power um i think there was a hope that he would maybe stop dog bow in more of a statement fashion but it's just so i've I watched his last two fights the abraham nova fight you touched on and it's just the punch selection the accuracy for me that was 
really really impressive and a trait with like those really special amateurs as well is like the ability to punch from within range where they can be hit back and not get hit if you know what i'm saying they bought it to stay in the pocket and still avoid getting hit so it was obviously a difficult transition for him from the amateurs to the professional based on wishing at the debut but i think he's retained the qualities that made him so good as an amateur from having i don't know how many amateur fights he's having imagine it was you know approaching 100 if not more than that but the the accuracy the selection whilst adding the the physical aspects that often see amateurs come unstuck in the professionals if you get what i'm saying so mm. i think the fact that he's only had 13 fights as well means there's developing to do still um but i think just the the schooling would be too much for yeah. i think Collins probably maybe get the best shout out of anyone we mentioned now you say it um but i think he would just prove too much okay Interesting, interesting. And I think you kind of clearly rate him highly, Danny. A lot of, a lot of people do. I think we both picked Ramirez to beat to beat Dogbo um in in in, in fight week. Um do you final question for me, do you think we're looking at kind of a future pound for pound star, someone who can win world titles in different divisions, someone who can really dominate here, or is or is that statement going a bit over the top? You couldn't rule it out. I think you would potentially want to see uh, a marquee win in the division. Um, as good a, a fighter as Dog was and as proven as he is at a certain level, he's not a marquee win. Um, so I think I would maybe want to see that before jumping to like the multi weight world champion and as you say, a pound for pound level fighter. The ability from for my money seems to definitely be there. Um, but I think. Like if you saw him, if he just completely took apart Marisu Lara and stopped him, you know, you would think, right, we're dealing with potentially someone special or comprehensively beat Conlon from start to finish. I know would beat Conlon, but was was losing or or to, to beat Ray Vargas at Featherweight. You know, those would all be statements to me that could indicate someone could be a potentially a pound for pound level fighter based off what we've seen yet. I don't think you could say with certainty, but I think there's every indication that it's a possibility great now danny we'll, we'll leave it there um i don't know about you but like featherweight featherweight division is possibly my favorite division in world boxing in terms of how exciting the fights that can be made um i think ramirez lara michael Conlon, lopez i think these guys will all will all face anyone as well so hopefully in the next 12 months we see some fantastic fights um yeah and there's, and there's lots to lots to discuss with the fights coming up as coming up as well but i think yeah both very excited about the career of Robsy Ramirez. Interested to see what he's going to do next. Um, and yeah, thank you for joining me. And yeah, we'll, we'll speak to you again soon. No problem, mate. Thanks very much.